On behalf of the United States Army, I'd like to present the Impact Player of the Month Award to Kenneth Sumter, Jr. There you go. This is Wick Eisenberg with County Sports Zone, and I am here at Haver de Grace High School in Hartford County to honor this month's U.S. Army Impact Player of the Month, Kenneth Sumter Jr., who plays football and basketball here at Haver de Grace. With Kenneth and I today, we also have Brian Everhart, who coaches football and basketball here at Haver de Grace. You were just presented this award in front of a big crowd of people. How are you feeling right now, and how does it feel to be named Impact Player of the Month? Um, it's just a great honor knowing that this award is statewide. There's a lot of other people that could have won this award, and I'm just very happy that it's me. And your primary sport is basketball, and you had a great season along with your teammates here. And um, one big thing for you must have been hitting the 1,000 career point mark. What was that moment like? It's a goal that a lot of high school basketball players aim for. Um, it was just a great feeling. Um, it hasn't been done at our high school in, in over 30 years. Um, I was just really happy that it was me, all my um, hard work and dedication. Also, thanks to my teammates for believing in me and trusting me throughout the whole season. And you've also done a great job academically. Uh, you're a multi-winner for the uh, MPSSA Minds in Motion Award. Uh, you've also taken a lot of AP courses and done really well in those as well. Um, what advice do you have for high schoolers who are trying to balance academics as well as playing sports? Um, just focus on studies first. You're a student athlete, so student, the student parts comes first. Um, just focus on get good grades and stay in class, and then you can focus, pay your attention to the, your field or the court. Thank you so much, Kenneth. That's great advice. Now, now, Coach Eberhardt, not only have you coached him in two sports, you're also the one who nominated him. So why Kenneth? Why is he a good recipient for this award? You know, it was, it was really easy. Uh, uh, Kenneth uh, really embodies all of the qualities that you think about when you, when you use the phrase student athlete. He really embodies all of those. Um, as you touched on student-wise, you know, he's taken a number of AP courses, honor courses, uh, the Mind and Motion Award that he's won every year since 2013. Uh, those are just some of his accomplishments accomplishments academically as a student the athlete part as you as you touched on also you know we could really be here for him in football as well he had an outstanding senior year uh, uh, he was instrumental in getting us to the into the state championship this year uh, where he caught a touchdown pass in that game uh, I don't know how many thousand point basketball scores have caught a touchdown in a, in a state championship <laughs> game but but Kenneth certainly has uh, and basketball which we're here for uh, he scores over 1,100 points in, uh, uh, in his career, his uh, four years on the varsity basketball team. Uh, this past season, averaged over 23 games, six rebounds, you know, on and on and on. Uh, led us to a, a regional uh, championship game that we haven't been to in probably nine years here. Um, and within the community, I know he's highly active in his church. Uh, he's part of our jazz band here at the school. The list goes on and on. So as you can see, it was really easy easy to uh, to make this nomination for Kenneth. Seems like a great recipient. Thank you, Coach. Now, last thing you're going to receive today is a free T-shirt courtesy of County Sports Zone. I hope you enjoyed it and wear it often. It's very comfortable. Uh, once again, congratulations on being named this month's U.S. Army Impact Player of the Month. Congratulations to Kenneth.